Hey, in this video, I'm going to actually set up Cloudflare. I'm going to migrate a domain and show you how to turn SSL or turn a custom domain into HTTPS. So stay tuned. Hey, everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. In this video, I'm going to do a setup with Cloudflare to take one of my domains and enable SSL. So I did a podcast recently. I'll, I'll put the link uh, in this video uh, where I talked about three ways to do SSL on your website. One was traditional. Go out and get a certificate from a, a certificate authority like GoDaddy or something like that. Two, I talked about Let's Encrypt, which is really nice, free. I did a video on that, so definitely check that out as well. And the third method is Cloudflare, which does an SSL proxy. So they're they're sort of caching your site and making sure all the traffic that goes to it is over HTTPS. And it's free, which is great. And I'm going to show you how to set it up. There's actually some use cases where you really have to use Cloudflare. And I'll give you an example. I use a product called CloudApp to share uh, videos and screen shares and images and things like that with our customers. A great application, definitely check it out. And you'll notice that I have a URL called yerby.co, not my actual web page to my product, but sort of a shortened URL or a URL just for sharing on Cloud App. They allow you to do a custom domain, but you see this right here? It's not secure. That little lock there doesn't give a lot of confidence to your customers that you know it's really a safe link or they're looking at good content um, when they see that little uh, non-secure link. Now Cloud App actually tells you on their support site they recommend that you enable SSL on their custom domains with, with Cloudflare. They haven't you know many SaaS providers now connect directly to Let's Encrypt to get those free uh, custom domain uh, SSL certificates and I hope uh, Cloud App does in the future, but for now they actually recommend that you use Cloudflare. So I'm going to go ahead and set Cloudflare up, and we're going to go and test that link again once I do it. So let's go ahead and take a look. So what's nice? I've got a new account here in Cloudflare. Very easy to do. First thing you do is you put in the domain that you want to uh, add in here. Now the caveat is on the free plan for Cloudflare, which is what I'm going to use and I recommend. You have to change your name servers. Um, to Cloudflare and I'll show you that process but Cloudflare makes it really easy to set up I'm just gonna do this scan DNS records it's gonna go out there and it's gonna actually find my DNS records and migrate them into their environment so I should not have to do really much setup whatsoever uh, I have seen cases where they were unable to find your DNS records and you did add them manually but even in those cases, what I did is I just started over from scratch and tried again, and it seemed to work really well. So maybe there's a timeout in some cases, and they can't retrieve them. So looks like we've got a count down here. We'll give it a second and see if they are able to find it. Now, while that's looking, this is very simple. I've just got three records in here. You'll see I've got my C name pointing to the proxy.cloudapp.me. That's what they want you to point to um, to get that cloud app custom domain. All right, so it looks like we've got our timer down. Let's go ahead and hit continue. And you'll see in this case, it did not find those. Watch this. I'm going to go back and hit cancel. I'm going to do it again. And I bet you that it will find it on the second scan. So we'll give this a second and see if it finds it the second time. Okay, so let's hit the continue button and see if it brings everything over. And in this case, it doesn't. Now, uh, luckily, I have my current uh, registrar open here. And if I had to guess why it didn't bring it over is actually I have a conflict in DNS over here. You'll see I have, have the root domain. I have an A record and a C name um, with two different uh, values here. That's sort of a that's, that, that probably actually shouldn't probably work very well what I want to do is use this uh, C name to point me to cloud apps so what I'm going to do is go ahead copy and create these manually and if you don't have a lot then this is not going to be a problem for you if you do have a lot then I probably would keep trying that or even maybe contact um, Cloudflare and see what's going on if you are not a DNS uh, expert I, I bet you if, if I were to come here and try to add another root domain record, an A record to that IP address, I'm pretty sure it's not going to 
let me, which is why it was not able to automatically import them. Let's see. I, there it is. Look at that. A C name already exists. So they've got a little bit more sophistication over here than I believe I'll hover, uh, which is interesting that they let me uh, do that. Now, let's go ahead and hit continue. And the next step in this, if I scroll up a little bit, you'll see wants me to select a plan. Now, what I'm going to recommend is the free one. You'll see here it gets quite expensive when you get into business. And the reason I've got to migrate the entire domain over to Cloudflare is because I am going to use the free one. If I did want to take just a subdomain into Cloudflare, I believe you need the enterprise. Um, you may be able to do that in business, but I believe you need the enterprise. So it gets very expensive if you're just doing a single uh, subdomain. So that's the caveat with Cloudflare. You've got to change your name server over and all your DNS over to Cloudflare, which honestly is, is not a big deal. Um, but, you know, I just, you know, I, I don't feel 100% on it. But it's not a big deal. So you'll see here, it tells me what my current name servers are. I've got to change those. And that this basically means that even though I'm going to do all my renewals of my domain and everything like that, still in Hover, uh, you'll see I'm going to edit these name servers. That's going to basically mean that Cloudflare now is going to be who everybody on the Internet talks to in order to route to this domain. So... Again, I recommend you do this on a domain that is not your public website. Um, not that you'll have any outages or anything like that. It just keeps it simple. And in this case, you know, I'm not using yerby.co at all. So it's really safe for me to make all these changes into Cloudflare. So now I've made those changes. Now, one of the things you'll notice here says it could take up to 24 hours to transfer your name server. Uh, I've noticed Hover is, the reason I like Hover is they're extremely fast. So we're going to do a little test here. I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to actually go out there and check to see if the names have been changed yet. And let's go ahead and recheck that and take a look. Looks like it will take a little bit of time. Let's refresh and see if it has detected it yet. Not yet. So what I'm going to do is pause this video. And we're going to come back and, and, and recheck this once the DNS change has been made. And then I'll show you how to make sure SSL is turned on. And we'll check that uh, link again. So stay tuned. Okay, so Cloudflare emailed me. It took about 15 minutes and said my site was active. I came back out here and hit the refresh button already. Sorry about that. But you can see now, status is active. I've got a green bar here on my domain. Um, so now a couple things to point out once you make this change. One, if I click on DNS, Cloudflare is going to be your DNS name server now. What that means is if you want to add anything at all to your DNS, if you want to add another C name or something like that, You've got to do it in Cloudflare. Don't do it over in your registrar because that's not your name server. But you're going to pay the bill for renewal at your registrar. So you've got to kind of mentally keep those two things separate. Now, let's say you leave Cloudflare at some point and you want to transfer that name server back to your registrar. Anything that you manually added into this DNS, you've got to then manually add back into your primary registrar. So there's not going to be any bi-directional syncing or things like that. So just uh, important to, to keep that into consideration. Now, let's look at crypto because that's where the SSL routing is. And you'll see that it's turned on by default. I haven't changed anything. And if I go over the cloud, uh, my cloud app recording where it used to be HTTP, I'm going to go ahead and let's test it out. All right, I got a green lock. And check that out. That's secure. And now all I did, this is uh, the Cloudflare um, certificate authority. All I did was turn on Cloudflare. I didn't install anything. I didn't do anything. I just now Cloudflare is doing SSL proxying to me. Now we'll show you a couple things you might find that happens. Let's say you get, uh, you still don't get the green lock. You get a message about mixed content. You've got some images on the page that are still not HTTPS, so the green lock does not come. Well, Cloudflare gives you some really nice, simple solutions for that. If you scroll down on this crypto page, at the bottom, you'll see automatic HTTPS reroutes, rewrites. And what that's going to do is fix that mixed content issue you have by changing anything that's HTTP to HTTPS. So this will fix you if you, if you do have some mixed content. Just turn that on. And honestly, it doesn't hurt to turn that on. 
um, anyhow. And then the other thing is if you want to force people to, to go to HTTPS, you'll see this one here, redirect all requests to HTTPS. I, I like to have both of these on just by default. So I'm going to turn both of those on. And that should not affect anything. But let's go ahead and refresh over here and make sure that that works fine. And it does. So hopefully you see uh, some of the pitfalls I went through in this and that helped you if you run into those same questions and issues. And this gives you just another option to be able to turn uh, HTTPS on your websites. It's free uh, and it's relatively easy. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go out to Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash techsmartboss and like our page. We do some videos on that side as well. And uh, stay tuned for the next video.